Hey guys, welcome to this video. It is the afternoon. I'm starting this video very, very late in the day. I'm hoping to do some ride on mowing, but that's all going to depend on three factors. The first factor is, is the ground sloshy and soft? Because if it is, I don't want to get it out and get stuck. Secondly, can I even get the ride on out of the customer's garage? Because the last time I tried, the doors were warped. And if I can get into it, has it got a flat tire? So these are three key things. If I get in there and all of those are against me and I can't do it then I'll have to go and find some other work to do in this specific job but anyway I'm here for the afternoon so let's get on with it I've got into the shed there's no flat tires well there is a bit of air missing in one of them but it's nothing that won't stop me being able to do what I need to do the battery is alive which is great one dilemma I'm struggling to get this door open because it's really wedged down at the bottom it's almost like it's collapsed a little bit. Look, there's a gap there. It's like the door's kind of like that. So I don't know. I'm going to try and get it open anyway. Right, let's lift up this old Countex. Oh my God. What the hell's been nesting in there? Fingers crossed it starts, mate. Right, we've got fuel in it, so... Moment of truth, turn the key. I think we have life just. So whack it all the way up to neutral. Give it a few pumps, handbrake up. Armrest down, sound like an airline pilot. Armrest down. Right, let's fire this girl up, come on. Don't let me down. It says it's dull, come on. Nearly. Because we need to get it running to get the engine, uh, the, the battery charged a bit. I think the drive belt's gone. Okay, so that's disappointing. No bars on mowing today, but I probably can do push mowing. Yeah, so basically all I can do today is the hater push mowing, which is that bit and a little bit in the tiny little bit in the back and that little bit in the front. So that's that. And then I say we're cracking with other bits and pieces here. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. It's just the first cut of the season. 
it's a high setting but it puts some stripes in it and takes the tops off and it, it just smartens it up a bit right guys so now that we've done all the push mowing with the hater it's time for just to find those edges under the hedge line against the brick walls and just define the nice straight edges with the strimmer so that's what we're going to do now and then we are done here for the day <laughs> It's now the end of the day. My day was finished a long time ago and I should have gone home, but my van won't start. I mean, it's not dead dead. I put the key in the ignition and there's lights and everything, but when you turn it to try and start it, it just won't start. It's completely flat. So I'm waiting for my mate from the car garage to come in with some, it's like a jumper booster pack thing to get the van running. And once it's running, then obviously I can take it home. I have lights on the dashboard as you can see but uh yeah pain in the bum i mean it's just so i've got lights clutch so what you have to do with this van you have to put your foot on the clutch to start it and then yeah nothing come on jim bob i'm starting to get cold <laughs> Right, so I've not long been home from work. The kids are actually now in bed because, long story short, my mate turned up. He got my van going. He's I've, I've nursed it home. It's fine. I'm going to put a new battery in it tomorrow. That's all it needs, just a new battery. It's fine. Basically, it's just drained out. And um, the cold weather, we've had like minus five and six overnight. So it's just drained the battery. It's killed it off. So it um, is what it is. Anyway, I'm home. I don't care. Now, my lovely, lovely partner has just said... I've got to have an early birthday present now. And I said, well, it we can wait till Saturday. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. She's like, no, you don't understand. You've got to have it now. It can't wait till your birthday. You've got to have it before. I, I can't understand why I've got to have it before, but you're insisting that I have it before. So I I'm going to have it before. I mean, she's given me two. She's given me this envelope, right? And there was also this, well, actually it came in a lovely box, but it's also a lovely mug. It's got 40 on it and it's like, it's from the kids. It's from my children, so that means a lot. So anyway, I'm going to... Actually, this mug's going to have a very handy because I need to put it there for two seconds. But basically, I've got to open this. I don't know what it is. Obviously, it's some form of birthday card or something, but it feels chunky. It doesn't do up very well. Right, let's have a go. Oh god, I can't open it. It's, it's stuck. You might have to rip the whole. Oh. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Let me just read the card first. Look at that. That is so cute. 
I love that. I don't know if it's all in there. Yeah, look. There's me and my missus. That's really cute. Two Pete, being with you makes everything perfect. You light up my world in the most beautiful ways. I love you so much. Happy 40th. All my love, always, Maria. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Right, anyway, more importantly, there was something else in here. Oh, no, I'm not bungee jumping, am I? <laughs> no. Am I, am I jumping out of a plane or something? Because no. I, I mean, I'm not scared of heights, but I don't want to... Just read it. Hang on, wait, what? Wait, what? 10th of Feb? Saturday? Right, no, Friday. We well, had yeah, donut because my birthday's on Saturday, isn't it? Friday. Yeah. Sorry, this is just shock. This is just. If you guys could see what's on this bit of paper, like I'm. So you're not working Friday because I'm taking you to Portugal for three days. Like what? <laughs> How? What? What? We're flying quarter to seven in the morning. Oh my god. I'm actually lost for words. Like, literally, the tattoo gardener is lost for words. Uh, close to tears. I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what. Mate, she's only gone and booked me two. Well. For me and you, I presume you're coming. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> yep, yeah, no children. Just you and me for a three-day break. So not tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. For, so you've got to work, to work tomorrow. So I've got to work Thursday and then Friday. Yeah, we're going Friday morning. And we're not so we're taking soon. off at six o'clock. That means we've got to be there well early. We've got to be there by four. My God, this amazing woman and probably her parents are in on this as well because they, they've been so good to us. But we're off to Portugal. Oh, crap. I mean, oh, good. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? this is crazy. I'm going to Portugal for three nights for my birthday. Like, this, this just doesn't happen. How is this happening? So we go out Friday and we're coming back on Monday. And we're flying Wizz Air. We're flying Wizz Air. I've never been on Wizz Air. I'm quite excited. Anyone who knows me, right, I'm a bit of a plane geek. Not the sort that go to the airport and take all the numbers on every plane, but I'm a plane enthusiast. I love planes. My mum and dad brought me up on planes since I was a kid. So, like, this is crazy, mate. I'm I'm stoked, mate. I'm going to Portugal. Massive, massive thank you to my lovely colleague. She's she's in her PJs, but I don't oh, care. God, no, I'm You're gonna be in it. <laughs> this amazing woman. I mean, her and her mum and dad. I don't, don't know. I don't know what's going on at the moment. Somebody has just given me tickets for a, a three night break, and I, I, I'm lost for words, mate. Honestly, I can't believe this. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Right, I'm going to give her a massive hug and go and drink a beer, mate. But before I do, I'm just going to end this video here because this is like, this is beyond crazy. The, the thing that's naughty, right, is for the last week or so, she's been dropping hints. She's been saying, you're going to do something special for your birthday. It's going to be really, really special. And I want you to film it. So in my video the other day, I was like, right, okay, I'm going to be doing something really special. Don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to film it. Now I know what it is. We're... We're going to Portugal. This is crazy. Like, so, all right, I will be filming Portugal and I will be uploading the Tattooed Gardener's Adventure and little trip to Portugal. It's a three night break. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to love filming this. I'm going to love doing this vlog, this travel vlog, and I'm going to throw it into my channel. And I'm so excited. You can tell I'm buzzing. I'm, I'm in shock, but this is going to be really, really good. So anyway, listen, I'm going to wrap this up here. I need to go and drink a beer. I'm shaking, mate. I'm going to see you guys for the next video real, real soon. Um, probably when I'm back now, I'll probably be up filming this and editing this. And yeah, let, let's aim for Tuesday. I'm going to aim to upload Tuesday. It could be Monday night. I don't know what, what time we're back, but I'll upload early next week and share this entire experience with you. I'm... Mate, honestly, share some love in the comments for my partner, Maria, because she has been brilliant, mate, honestly. So supportive for the whole channel all the way through it. But 
for you and your family to do this for me, I'm literally so like touched, mate. I I, I just want to cry. I I've never I, I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm wrapping it up here, guys, because I literally genuinely have got tears, mate. I'm so like emotional. So I will see you guys real soon for the next tattoo gardener adventure. For now, look after yourself. Be awesome. Be kind to people, and yeah, just peace out.